Just uh, over an hour to go to kick off in this 2016 Scottish Cup final, Rangers against Hibs. Last season, Darren McGregor was a Rangers player. In the summer, there was a parting of the ways and Darren went back to his roots, fulfilling his boyhood dream of playing for Hibs. He'd be given the opportunity so, so late in my career to come to a club that I've, that I've supported was a, was a dream come true. I don't think Rod Petrie will be happy with this, but I actually used to uh, sneak in. When I was younger, mum and dad were a bit short of cash, so I took it upon myself to go with my friends and just uh, hopped over the fence. So that was uh, that was my first experience at Hibs game. Frank Sozzi was, uh, was a, a, a star living legend at Hibs and the way he played, I mean his position. Me being a defender when I was younger, looking up and thinking, this guy's got a bit of ability, whereas uh, we're told as defenders just to, to head it and clear it and give it to somebody that can play football, but to see him sort of gracing Easter Road, he was he was a guy I looked up to and aspired to be. Trapping with the corner, and McGregor goes up and beats a goalkeeper, that's a goal, his first ever SPL goal. And I actually remember the phone call, Danny Lennon phoning me when he got the job at St Mirren and asking me uh, if I wanted to become a full-time football player at 24, so you can imagine it never took too long to, to make my mind up. It was a whirlwind for there. Lost free kick, Darren McGregor! And I enjoyed my time at Rangers. Listen, the year I had there was, was great. They looked after me really, really well. There's a lot of good people there from top to bottom. Managers come in and they want their own people in, and I, I respect Mark Robert. I've always said that he was, uh, he was very amicable with me. Uh, he says at my age I needed to play football, so I, I agree with him. And I said, listen, if, if that's the case, then we'll get it done. A club that I've supported all my life, it was a really easy choice. Walked through the doors, signed on the dotted line and got my number 24 and that was, that was me. Unbelievable, to be honest, something that I'd dreamt of as a, as a young boy. I'm now here and, and obviously loving it. The gaffer's been great, really, really good. I think his man management skills are second to none and I think for me, that's been a, a big factor why, why we've got so far in cup competitions and, and he makes you want to play for him. And that, I think that's a trait that is very difficult to acquire being a manager. You can be a, a tactician, you can set your team out, uh, but if you can't relate to your players and, and have a sort of a, pers a, a personable conversation with them, then it's, it's difficult for them to, to be motivated, to be honest. Henderson's cross, Cummings header, it's into the net! I think the boys have worked so hard, they've done so well in cup competitions, so to potentially be left at the end of it with nothing to show for it is uh, it's just it's just really sad to be honest. The grit and determination uh, that we'll need to show on Saturday will obviously will be motivated by losing the cup final and the and, and the league campaign. You know what's on the line, you know that the season's on a knife edge, having lost the League Cup, having having lost in the playoffs, you know that this is a, a one chance of redemption. We're sitting here with, with still a great opportunity to win a cup that hasn't hasn't graced the uh, um, Grace Lethal a, a good long while.